Microsoft has 220,000 employees powering their trillion dollar empire. But what if I told you someone's trying to replicate their entire business with zero human workers? I've been tracking this story since Elon Musk first joked about it in 2021. And last month, it stopped being a joke. The plot twist? This might actually work. And Microsoft knows it. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, we're diving into MacroHard, Musk's wildly ambitious AI company that's attempting something that sounds straight out of science fiction. Building a software giant run entirely by artificial intelligence. We'll explore exactly how this AI-powered company plans to compete with Microsoft, why this timing is absolutely crucial, and what this means for the future of not just tech companies, but potentially every job in software. First up, let's talk about why Musk thinks he can pull off what everyone else calls impossible. The track record of impossible. Here's the thing about betting against Elon Musk. Historically, it hasn't aged well. When he said he'd land rockets back on Earth and reuse them, the aerospace industry literally laughed. SpaceX achieved the first ever orbital rocket landing, and now it's routine. The entire space industry had to pivot. When Tesla was hemorrhaging cash and everyone said electric cars were a pipe dream for rich environmentalists, Musk kept pushing. Fast forward, and Tesla overtook Toyota to become the world's most valuable automaker. Not the most valuable electric car company, the most valuable car company, period. But here's where it gets interesting. Remember when Australia needed emergency power storage and Musk bet he could build the world's largest battery in under 100 days? The experts called it impossible. He did it in 63 days. See, there's a pattern here that most people miss. Musk doesn't just pick random, impossible challenges. He specifically targets industries where everyone's accepted that this is just how things work. And right now, he's looking at Microsoft and seeing something nobody else sees. Wait until you hear what that is. The Microsoft Target The rivalry between Musk and Microsoft isn't new, but most people don't know how deep it actually goes. Back in 2021, Musk tweeted macro hard Microsoft, and everyone thought it was just another one of his jokes. But behind the scenes, something else was happening. Musk was watching Microsoft pour billions into OpenAI, a company he co-founded, by the way, and he wasn't happy about the direction things were heading. He even said, and I quote, OpenAI is going to eat Microsoft alive. Now, Microsoft under Satya Nadella has completely transformed itself into an AI powerhouse. They've integrated AI into everything, Bing, GitHub Copilot, Office, you name it. They employ 220,000 people worldwide to maintain this empire. But this is where Musk's observation becomes fascinating. He looked at Microsoft and realized something profound. Despite all those employees, despite being one of the world's most powerful companies, Microsoft doesn't actually manufacture physical products for most of its business. Windows, Office, Azure, it's all software. It's all code. It's all digital. And if it's all digital, why do you need humans to create it? What MacroHard actually is. On August 22, 2025, Musk dropped the announcement that made the tech world stop in its tracks. MacroHard was real. Not a joke, not a concept. An actual company under his XAI initiative. The name might be tongue-in-cheek, macro versus micro, hard versus soft, but Musk was dead serious about the project. His exact words were, it's a tongue-in-cheek name, but the project is very real. Now here's where things get mind-bending. Macro Hard's mission is to, and I'm quoting Musk here, create a company that can do anything short of manufacturing physical objects directly. Think about that for a second a software company with zero human employees. No programmers writing code. No designers creating interfaces. No project managers organizing sprints. Just AI agents doing all of it. The foundation for this isn't coming out of nowhere. Musk's 
XAI company, which he launched in 2023, has been quietly building the infrastructure for this. They've created Grok, their AI chatbot, but that was just the beginning. Behind the scenes, they've been developing something much more ambitious, a complete AI workforce. According to filings, they're programming these AI agents to handle everything from software design to business operations to strategic planning. The goal? Build an entirely digital entity that can compete with and potentially surpass traditional software companies. The technical revolution. Let me break down what's actually happening here, because once you understand this, you'll see why Microsoft should be worried. Traditional software development works like this. Humans write code, test it, debug it, deploy it. It's slow, expensive, and honestly, kind of messy. Even with all of Microsoft's resources, launching a new product takes months or years. But MacroHard's approach? They're creating AI agents that can write, test, and deploy code autonomously. We're not talking about GitHub Copilot suggesting a few lines of code. We're talking about AI systems that can architect entire applications from scratch. Here's what really makes this threatening to Microsoft, the speed factor. While Microsoft needs to coordinate between thousands of employees across different time zones, deal with meetings, handle miscommunication, manage human resources, MacroHard's AI agents can work 24-7 without breaks, without misunderstandings, without office politics. Imagine a development cycle compressed from months to days. Imagine bug fixes happening in real time. Imagine software that evolves and improves itself continuously without human intervention. But wait, there's a catch, and this is where it gets really interesting. The money behind the machine. Running an AI company that can match Microsoft isn't just about smart algorithms. It's about raw computational power, and that doesn't come cheap. According to recent reports, XAI is planning to build a supercomputer specifically for MacroHard. We're talking about infrastructure that would make most tech companies' data centers look like desktop computers. Current estimates suggest they need computational resources worth billions of dollars. But here's where Musk's strategy gets clever. Microsoft has to pay 220,000 salaries, provide benefits, maintain offices worldwide. Those are ongoing costs that never stop. MacroHard's main expense? Computing power. And unlike human salaries, computing costs keep dropping every year thanks to Moore's Law. The economics are compelling. Once the AI systems are trained and the infrastructure is in place, the marginal cost of producing software drops to almost nothing. No vacation days, no healthcare costs, no retirement plans. Just electricity and server maintenance. Microsoft spent over $27 billion on employee costs last year alone. Imagine redirecting even half of that to pure innovation and development. That's the advantage MacroHard is betting on. Microsoft's response. Now, Microsoft isn't exactly sitting still while this happens. They've been preparing for this exact scenario, though they probably didn't expect the challenge to come from Musk. Recent internal memos show Microsoft is restructuring entire divisions around AI. They're not just adding AI features to existing products, they're reimagining how the company operates. But here's their dilemma. They can't just fire 220,000 people and replace them with AI overnight. They have obligations, contracts, and honestly, they need those humans to maintain their existing systems. It's like trying to rebuild a plane while flying it. Microsoft has to transform gradually, carefully. MacroHard? They're building a rocket from scratch with no legacy constraints. But Microsoft has one massive advantage that we haven't talked about yet. Customer trust. Fortune 500 companies run on Microsoft software. Governments depend on it. Would they switch to an AI-run company with no track record? That's the billion-dollar question. Though, if you think about it, Customers don't really care who writes the code as long as it works. And if MacroHard can offer the same quality at half the price with twice the innovation speed, well, that's when things get really interesting. The implications. Everyone's focused on whether MacroHard can beat Microsoft, but that's actually the small picture. 
The real question is, what happens to the entire tech industry if this works? Think about it. If MacroHard proves that AI can run a software company, every tech giant will have to follow suit or become obsolete. Google, Apple, this Amazon. One, they'll all race to create their own AI-powered subsidiaries. We could see the biggest transformation in corporate structure since the Industrial Revolution. But here's the part that keeps me up at night. What happens to the millions of software developers worldwide? We're not talking about automation replacing factory workers over decades. We're talking about AI potentially replacing knowledge workers in just a few years. Now before you panic, consider this. Every technological revolution creates new types of jobs we couldn't imagine before. When computers arrived, we didn't just lose typists, we gained an entire industry. The question is, what new roles will emerge when AI handles the coding? Musk actually addressed this in a recent interview. He believes humans will shift from creating software to defining what software should create. Instead of writing code, we'll be writing intentions. Instead of debugging programs, we'll be debugging AI behavior. It's not the end of human involvement, it's an evolution of what that involvement looks like. The current state of play. So where does MacroHard stand right now? According to the latest reports from October 2025, they're further along than most people realize. The recruitment phase has been fascinating to watch. Instead of hiring traditional employees, they're bringing in AI trainers, prompt engineers, and what they call AI psychologists, people who understand how to shape AI behavior. The team is tiny compared to Microsoft's army, maybe a few hundred people, but their job isn't to build software. Their job is to build the builders. Early demonstrations have been impressive, though limited. They've shown AI agents collaborating on simple applications, fixing bugs in real time, even proposing feature improvements based on user behavior analysis. But, and this is crucial, they haven't shipped a commercial product yet. The timeline Musk's hinting at? First commercial release within 18 months. That might sound ambitious, but remember, this is the same guy who went from announcing a car company to shipping vehicles faster than anyone thought possible. Microsoft, meanwhile, is watching every move. They've quietly assembled a team specifically to monitor and respond to MacroHard's progress. The Cold War of the tech world is heating up. The Philosophical Questions Beyond the business implications, MacroHard raises questions that sound like they're straight out of a Black Mirror episode, but they're very real and very immediate. If an AI makes all the decisions at a company, who's accountable when something goes wrong? Can you sue an algorithm? Who goes to jail if an AI company commits fraud? There's also the creativity question. Microsoft's best products often come from human insights, those aha moments that happen in the shower or during a walk. Can AI truly innovate, or will it just iterate on existing ideas? Musk says yes, critics say no, but honestly, we won't know until we see it in action. But here's the deepest question. If AI can run a software company, what can it run? Banks? Hospitals? Governments? Once you open this door, where does it stop? These aren't theoretical concerns anymore. Regulatory bodies are already scrambling to create frameworks for AI-run entities. The legal system is trying to catch up to a reality that's moving faster than legislation ever could. What this means for you. All right, let's bring this down to earth. What does all this actually mean for you, watching this right now? First, if you're in tech, this is your wake-up call. Not to panic, but to evolve. The developers who'll thrive aren't the ones who can write the best code. They're the ones who can teach AI to write better code. Start learning prompt engineering, AI behavior management, and system architecture at a higher level. Second, if you're an investor, pay attention. The market hasn't fully priced in what happens if MacroHard succeeds. Traditional software companies might see their valuations completely restructured. Companies with heavy human workforce dependencies could be at risk. Third, if you're just a regular user of technology, get ready for software that evolves faster than ever before. Updates won't come quarterly. They might come daily or even hourly. 
Features you suggest might be implemented before you finish typing the suggestion. But most importantly, this is a reminder that we're living through one of the most transformative periods in human history. The boundaries between human and artificial intelligence aren't just blurring, they're being completely redrawn. The prediction. So here's my prediction, and feel free to come back to this video in two years to see if I'm right. MacroHard won't kill Microsoft, but it will force Microsoft to transform so radically that the Microsoft of 2027 will be unrecognizable from today. We'll see a hybrid model emerge, AI handling execution, humans handling strategy and creativity. The companies that survive won't be the ones that choose humans or AI, but the ones that figure out the perfect synthesis. As for MacroHard itself, I think they'll succeed in creating a functioning AI software company. Whether it can compete with Microsoft's ecosystem and enterprise relationships, that's the real challenge. My bet is they'll find a niche, maybe in rapid prototyping or specialized enterprise software, and excel there before expanding. The wild card? What Musk does next? He has a pattern. Prove the concept, force the industry to adapt, then move on to the next impossible thing. MacroHard might not be about beating Microsoft at all. It might be about proving that AI can run companies, period. And once that door is open, well, that changes everything. The battle between MacroHard and Microsoft isn't just another tech rivalry. It's a preview of the future of work, creativity, and human purpose in an AI-dominated world. Whether you're excited or terrified by this future, one thing's certain. It's coming faster than most people realize. The question isn't if AI will run companies, but when, how, and what will do when it does. What do you think? Is Musk onto something revolutionary? Or is this another ambitious project that'll crash against the walls of reality? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.